A wise man once said, to forget how to dig the soil, to end the earth, is to forget ourselves. Well, maybe some have, but a few of us still know. You gotta be willing to put in the time, make the sacrifices, and the hard choices. The job's got its perks, don't get me wrong. The sweet smell of the morning dew, the way the warm sun and the cool breeze can dance across your skin. But don't think it's a game. The farm's got a way of sorting the wheat from the chaff. Just remember to keep your wits about you. You fall, you get back up again. Because this is more than just a job. It's a calling. Who else would choose to wake up early in the morning, tear up their hands working in the fields all day, and then spend the evening planning how they're going to do it all over again? Better tomorrow. Day after day. Season after season. Year after year. That's a calling that's never ending. It stretches far forward and back from us as long as farmers have been tending this earth. And farmers will be around as long as such a thing exists. Tomorrow is secured by those willing to dirty their hands today. So when you feel alone out there in the field, just remember you're not. Think about all those that have come before you. And all those that'll follow. Plant today tomorrow. Alrighty guys, hope you all enjoyed that little cinematic trailer. As you can see, we are finally out here. Farming Simulator 2022, it's out and we've got our hands on it. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to start our farm. It's only going to be probably a bit of a short one, just the beginnings of our farm. But if you'd like to see this series continue, leave it down in the comments below. I've been so excited for this. I play this game every year that it comes out and this one's finally out here and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, you know, we're going to jump straight into it. I've never even, never even launched the game first, so I watched that trailer with you guys the first time. So, we're going to go and we're going to start a brand new game. Alrighty, here we are. As you can see, no slots, nothing at all. Going to go there. Now, we got three options. I always go farm manager, but we'll have a quick look at the other ones. New farmer, you already own some land and some equipment. The economy is profitable and gameplay elements are on easy setting. Yeah, not a fan of that. I want to buy all our own stuff ourselves. Start from scratch is a bit too tough. The economy in that, it's just, it sort of takes the fun out of it. And you got a hefty credit with the bank. I hate loans. If I can avoid it, we're going to go this whole game without, without uh, taking out any loans. We're going to try and live minimalistic for a little while until we can afford to buy some stuff. So we're going to go with farm manager right there. We got three options. We got Elm Creek, which is the USA, I believe. Not even going to try and pronounce that one. Hort Bailaron or whatever it is. I think that's European by the sounds of things. And I've heard that this one, Erlengrad, is up in the Alps somewhere. So, you know, that sounds fun, but we're going to go with Elm Creek to get us started here. So, let's go. Oh, riddly diddly. Looks like we've got the old character creation going on here. Nice, nice, and nice. Honestly, I don't think any of these are really going to look like me at all and we're definitely not a lady so i think we're gonna go with this first one here i mean that's gonna be the most like us and yes that'll be fine we're gonna change our name to the name is blake that's correct but not a fan of that you guys don't know me as blake so we're gonna go with that aussie hunter you know how it is kill 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 that's the name let's go next thing we've got the hairstyles and they're all looking pretty good, actually. I'm not going to go the old mohawk, that's for sure. But, you know, I think this one is most similar to me when I get my hair grown out a little bit. I 
probably a bit what it's like at the moment. And we need the old dark brown, and I don't even know. I think that's it. If it's red or something, you guys are just going to have to let me know. But I think that that's looking good right there. All right, beard time. Not a fan of them, but I usually have a bit of stubble going on, so that is right on the money. That sounds just about right. And we've got... Why is our hair that color? That was weird. All right. Next thing, mustache. No, thank you. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. All right, the exciting stuff now. We've got the outfits. Look at all of these. Now, beekeeper. Now, Farmer Joe going on there. Five is safety uh, chainsaw operator dude. And the old, uh, the old farmer. The old western style. But, honestly, I don't think we're going to go with any of these full outfits. That looks good. If you guys know me, which you wouldn't know this about me, I'm a huge John Deere fan. I absolutely love them. So, you're either going to love me or hate me for saying that, but that's just what we're going with. All these here, they're all looking good. All looking real good, but we're going to represent. we got the shirt. we got the jumper. Jumper looks better, so I think that's what we're going to be going with. Good. Now, it looks like we could go the old pants, but it's just a bit too much green for me, guys. Not a fan of that. And they're too tight. So, I think we've either got the work pants or the jeans. I think we're just going to go with the jeans. But I wear out in the farm, so that's what we're going to go with. And the old boots, boots, boots. Ah, fancy, fancy. Even got the old John Deere boots going on. They look really nice, too, actually. They suit the outfit well. Alright. Not going to muck around for you too long. Oh, cap. Is that too much green? Nah, it suits. Cool. We're just going that. Full represent. And I don't think we're going to wear any gloves. Because, you know, splinters. That doesn't bother us. Glasses. It gets a bit sunny here. It gets a lot sunny out. So we're just going to go with them. Alrighty. That's him done. So, guys. Welcome out here on Elm Creek. I think that's what it was called. Something like that. But we've got all this going on. Isn't this looking nice? Awesome. I'm going to fill around with some settings shortly. And we're going to change it so it's uh, one, one day months. So we're going to be going three days per season. That way it's going to be ticking along nice and quick. See some progress, and yeah, but I'd say this is going to be the starting thing that's going to be able to be purchased here. And what have we got? Looks like it's three paddocks in that area there. Considering you get this big old shed here, big old mezzanine and everything up there, I don't know if we're going to be able to use that for much. I don't think that silo is able to be used either, but what I like is I've got all this area here we can place them, and I'm pretty sure... All these belong to the the farm as well, and for a starting farm, that's actually not too bad. Got a few crops there that are ready to harvest, which is really nice. We've got wheat, we had corn back there. And what have we got over here? Potatoes. That's just going to get ploughed straight up. But the corn and the wheat might be a bit of a go. We might be able to do that. So, we're going to try and avoid... Taking out any loans if we can afford it. But the main thing is getting land. We can lease equipment if we want to. I really don't want to, but the main thing is getting that land. But first and foremost, we are going to purchase this just because it's the main area that I think is going to be really, really good. We can make that one big paddock if we want to. We can really just do whatever we want. So I think that's going to be a pretty smart investment to get us started here. We are going to purchase that. That's all ours now. I'm just going to have a quick squizzy around, see if there's anything else that appeals to us, but depends on prices, of course, but I do like to get land to get it started, but all this here, what's on there? These look all right, these little square ones, provided that they're flat. Got sorghum on there, that's one of the new crops. Don't even know what that looks like, so we'll pop over and have a look. And we got soybeans on that one by the looks of things. So, that's pretty good, we'll go over and have a look. Yeah, guys, these paddocks are looking real good, nice and flat. And that's a good bit of land there. Don't know what they're charging for it yet, but if it's not too bad. It might be a bad idea to pick some of them up. Look at this corner one here, number 40. What's on there? Now canola. Canola in there. Soybeans on here. I like to get land that has a crop that we can use because it's going to get us started on the right foot. Quick look at this one as well. This one, this is the sorghum. So that's pretty cool. 
I really like both of them. It's a tough choice between the two. I might go this one because it looks a little bit bigger. Not too bad. Well, they're asking 150 for that. 145 for that. For the sake of four grand or five grand, I think we're going to go that one. Nice and close to home so we can expand over here if we need to. And yeah, all right. We might regret that, but you know, we can never have too much land. So we've got this one too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And when that's ready to go in harvest season, whenever that's going to be, where's the soybean? Now, I've got colorblind mode on, so it's a bit uh, a bit different from what you guys will see, but a couple months' time, they're going to be ready to go. So that's a pretty good investment right there. Might be able to fertilize it too, if it's not too late. But anyway, we better get back to the farm and head over to the store and get us some equipment. We need to take note of what we're going to need. We need a plow or a cultivator or something to get rid of these potatoes. As we don't want them, and that's just a waste being there, we need to plant something else there. Now the wheat here, that's going to be perfect. We might even put that in a silo because I kind of want some chickens. Just to get us started because I am big on animals in farming simulator games and any way I can get started inexpensively, I want to do it. So I think that might be an idea if we've got enough money and the corn here. So we're going to need a header for that as well. But I don't even know what the store's got yet. But we need a tractor. We need a harvester. Header. Trailers, all sorts of jazz. So we're going to head over to the store. Now we've got a rough idea of what we need. And we're going to go from there. Now, already, first things first, we need a twaddle. A tractor. So, we don't want anything too expensive, but we don't want a small tractor because I want something that we're going to be able to use a fair way into the future. But nothing too expensive. So, what I had a look at before, and you know I'm a John Deere man, so I went straight to the John Deere. I was looking at this one here, but you can't put a front load attachment on there. And what I do want is I want one with a front loader because that way I'm going to be able to pick things up with it and I don't want to have to buy a forklift or something like that. So I think we're going to go with this one here, $99,500 before customization, 175 horsepower. I think that's going to get us by for stuff. We're going to go with him. Wheel brand, I like Michelin and they're right there. So that's perfect. Wheel setup, you got standard wide tires wide tires two narrow tires rear twin wheels twin wheels i think that's a bit above us right now but i think we're just gonna go with wide tires i've turned crop destruction off just because it's gonna make things look a little better so that's what we're going with we're gonna go with the second one there oh they're nasty <laughs> they're nasty front load attacher Ooh. all right what do we got we're gonna go that one there i don't know the difference but it looks a bit more sturdy, so that might not be too bad. And a license plate. Ooh, look at that. Let's see if we can think of something. There we go. Aussie Hunt. That's the best I could think of. So we're going to go with that. Front and back. Main color. John Deere Green. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's looking good to me. There it is. Right up there. Perfect. So, 105,600. We're going to buy it outright. And that looks like a pretty good addition to our farm. All right, now we're going to look for a trailer. Trailers, trailers, trailers. What do we got? Okay, eight cubic meters, 12.1 cubic meters, 12.6, 22.5 cubic meters. Hmm, I'm not actually hating that one there, but I'm thinking. We might go with this guy here, the old, uh, the old class thinking with the extension and stuff that might be too bad 20 grand with the extension we're definitely getting the extension 22 and a half cubic meters that's good Trailer board, we're gonna go michelin again if we can yep wheel setup i don't really see why we need wide tires on them so we're just gonna go standard and we got green matches the tractor perfect and just like the last one we've got to keep it the same don't we aussie hunt perfect and green and we only need that on the back, don't we? Because it's a trailer. Perfect. That's good. That's good, it's good, it's good. Down there we are. Perfect. 20 grand. No worries. We've got to be conscious of what we're spending too, because we still got a combine and we'll have to buy yet. But speaking of that, that's next. The old harvester. And I had a brief look before. I'd love to get the John Deere, but 285 grand, that's just not gonna happen right now. 
So I think we're going to keep it pretty cheap because we only have small paddocks right now. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with the Nova 330 just because that's definitely the most cost effective for us right now. Michelin tires if we can. We can't. Awesome. They're looking the best to me, the trailer board. Cool, cool. Standard wheel setup. You know, number plate again. Aussie hunt. Perfect. No, not blue. Green. And perfect. Is that first up? Yeah. Astral smash or astral smash or whatever it is. That's what we're just going to call it. The Power Stream 500. That's the one that goes with the harvest that we just got. So we're going to go with it. No customization needed. That's perfect. Nice and easy. That's exactly what we like. Now we are going to have to go over here and get a corn header at some point. At least. Something small. Just to get the most out of that corner paddock we got going on. But that's not something we need to worry about just yet. Now in terms of cedars for our crop afterwards. We're not too fussed about it now. But we're going to get it all just so we've got it there ready at the time. I was originally looking at this. But 3 metres wide and stuff. And it's very small. It doesn't require much. But just isn't just it's just not going to do it long term. So this one here. A little bit bigger. Same width. But we are going to be able to pull it, which is a bonus, of course. And wheel weights, it reckons. But we're going to try without it, I think. We might need to come back and suss that out afterwards. But I think we're going to go with this guy right here. Just because that's going to get us a decent start, I would imagine, anyway. So, going to buy that, dude. 42 grand. Yes, please. And now, we also need a plow. So get rid of all the stuff. So two and a half meters, three and a half meters. Can't pull that. Can't pull that. We can pull this. So I think that's what we're going to be going with. I hate plowing, but we'll probably just hire a worker for that anyway. So we'll pick that up. Nice and cheap, within our price range for sure. That's great. So for now, I think that's all we need here. But just going to quick look through all these options here. You got all your pallets and your big bags and whatnot, which is nice. But I believe these are actually packs. So if you're not sure what to get for certain things. Say we want to do grain. It gives you all this stuff that you're going to need. So I don't mind that. But I think we're going to look at things for ourselves. But it's good to know that that's nice quick access to the seeds there anyway. Now on it used vehicle sale. We should have come here first. Could have probably picked that up. But you know. You live and you learn. That's not too bad. Don't want cheap stuff. And yeah, that's what we got there. So, why do we have a... Oh, yeah, that's on there. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do us right for now. So, we're going to head back to the farm. And yeah, I'll meet you back there with all our equipment. I didn't do this on camera, but I remembered a couple other things I needed. We needed the front loader, and I just got a pallet fork, because we're going to need that there just to carry over our pallets and stuff and i also bought this trailer on a miscellaneous that's quite a nice trailer there it only cost eight grand and i think we're gonna put a bales on there but also we get uh, some chickens that's a good little spot to put some eggs so not unhappy with that purchase there but anyway take all this stuff back to the farm Alrighty, we're on our way beautiful 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 Exactly what you want, it's looking good. If you ever catch me driving on the, the left side of the road, like that, and smashing into some cars, that's because I'm from Australia. And we've got to drive on the left over here, so it's a bit complicated. But we should be able to get our head around it, shouldn't be too bad. But this town and everything is looking fantastic, isn't it? Looking great. And we're looking great too. Look at us in there. Proper little farmer. Absolutely. Absolutely perfect. So, we do have crop destruction turned off, but we're going to try and do our best to avoid it anyway. Just because realism purposes. We've got a servo there, so that's nice and handy to be nearby as well. I tend to have the habit of just leaving stuff hanging around all over the place. That's probably going to happen here too. But, you know, is what it is. So, that's fine. Probably just leave this trailer over here somewhere. Just for the moment. That'll do. On to the next stuff. Check out the inside of this thing. Talk about comfort. Holy moly, that's great. 
comfortable that's not bad at all for the price we paid jeeps creepers very happy with that but you might see i got the header on the front and we're just going to ignore that because you know i should be using a trailer but we're on a budget here okay guys we don't we don't have the money for that so we're just gonna we're just gonna drive with it on you'll understand hey miss oh this town looks so much more alive than last year or three years ago that's awesome that's great but we're here we are here we're actually gonna throw it just over there getting all ready to go and you can see it's been neglected by the last people for sure i just remember too we got to get a sprayer or a fertilizer and all that sort of stuff as well we do have plenty of money still so that's a good thing but we've still got to put silos and everything in yet which sort of worries me a bit but we'll get around to that in a minute just bringing everything over to the farm first and stuff but yeah i'm just giving you a quick look at this stuff looks great but that one there is all ready to go so because this is a bit of a setup bit for you guys i'm just showing you i bought these two i bought a spray for the weeds and a fertilizer spreader for fertilizing obviously so yeah just letting you know we got all that stuff we should be able to just fill it up from here which is perfect absolutely not even gonna have any leftovers and that's only 23 percent full but for a start that's gonna get us going there and i'm gonna fill up the sprayer and take that back too but just didn't want to leave that out because this is a setup video and i want to make sure you know exactly what we got okay i got heavily distracted but i couldn't help exploring i was looking upstairs and i couldn't help noticing this basketball ring here before can we play basketball oh we can that is so fun I'm going to do a whole episode just playing basketball, I reckon. Eh. We miss. Eh. Can we do it again? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's just lovely. Really should have done a better job of that, but eh. It'll be right for now. So, last thing we need before we can get started on this farming adventure. We need a silo. We really need a silo. So, I don't know where it's going to be silos that makes sense actually we got 400,000 500,000 800,000 jeepers creepers okay but they are expensive very expensive so i'm a thinking uh, should we buy a house no we're not buying a house yet oh should we buy a house it would be nice to have a house uh, we might have the money we'll see but we want to buy this extension or not this extension this silo right here might even throw it right on the edge of this paddock right here. Not cause too much damage. Right on that road there. Why not? Awesome. Didn't destroy any crop. That's what I like to see. And I know we don't really need it. But is that any good? That's just the decoration. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to buy a house. Because, you know, we need somewhere to live, don't we? We do need somewhere to live, surely. Yeah! Oh, okay. There we go. 560 grand we're down to now. But we should be good to get started. Just so I know for thought here. Animals. What are we going to do if we need a chicken area? Yeah, chicken coop. Brown is 60. Or chicken pasture. You know, I reckon we'll end up going in for the coop. I know it's a big investment, but... You know, I think that's what we're going to do. We're not going to do it just yet. I'm going to wait and see how our crops go because that's going to be our food for the chooks. But yes, if we end up doing this, I think we'll end up planting nearly everything. Probably all these three with wheat and then this bigger one over here, wherever the hell it is. With something else for money, but geez, that's a big paddock. Anyway, I'm rambling here. So guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm sorry, it is a bit more of a boring video, no real farming, but the setup is very important for all you guys to know if we're going to continue this. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. So I'm not going to do anything else without making another video. So if you'd like to see it continue, chuck it down in the comments below and leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.